In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to assess retention on a crop that's just about to commence flowering. What most people do is pick out a metre of row like this and they examine the retention of first position squares on the top five fruiting branches. Examine the plant from the top and then proceed down the plant to the next fruiting branch, the third fruiting branch, fourth and fifth, checking to see whether those first position fruit are still present or whether they've been lost from the plant due to weather shedding or insect feeding or some other cause. So if we look at retention on this plant here that I've pulled some leaves off so that you can see more clearly, we've got the top position present, the next position has actually been shed, that one there is a P2 square. On this next one, that one is present, the next one's present, and this one here is also present. So for those top five fruiting branches, we've got 80% retention. Keeping an eye on retention is a really useful way of checking the development of the crop. And just to make sure that you're not missing some sort of insect damage or some other physiological cause of damage to the crop during these early reproductive phases. It's not unusual, even in a bowl guard crop, to have retentions fall to around that 40 to 60%. But what is important at this stage is to be able to identify the cause of those lower retentions and if necessary, take remedial action. Measuring retention weekly is a great way of keeping an eye on the progress of your crop and to ensure that you're well on the way to the bowl setting period.